Hello everybody, my name is El Worfi. I'm just going to be running through stuff really quick because I've recorded this like five times and I can't seem to get the words out for some reason. I think it's just because I'm so frustrated because every single time I go to like hang out or just chill, YouTube throws at me another damn scandal. Now, this person, Brion, has decided to make a wonderful video going over their reaction to this person, Prism42's video about Chris Tyson, who is this person here, who is a friend of Mr. Beast, who is messaging minors. Uh, not Mr. Beast. Uh, Chris Tyson is messaging minors. Um, this is a screenshot from the video from Prism42. Definitely go watch it. It's really important. But essentially, Chris here, pictured right, uh, this is a minor, and uh, that's why their face is blurred. Uh, Chris ended up eventually meeting up with this minor, but um, if you go watch the video, which again, I don't want to play the video because I want you guys to support this small content creator, Prism42, but this um, video essentially exposes the fact that Chris was messaging the minor on Twitter, on Discord, uh, they joked about paying, like, uh, okay, well, you've seen this picture, you understand, they met up, they met up, um, but there's... There's messages about um, pledging to donate money so that way Chris can send nudes to a minor, and that's just a crime right there. You can't sexually explicit since uh, sexually explicit photos to a minor, and the fact that um, you're trying to convince the 13 year old at the time, t or maybe 15 at this point, e either way, uh, underage. Uh, th the fact that you're, they're trying to, no, no, they would have been um, 15 because they were born in 2003. The, the minor. So they, this is when they were 15. Um, the fact that you're trying to get, or at least joke, say you, you say you're joking about sending nudes to a minor, I'm not sure I'm really believing that bullshit excuse. Um, the fact that we've had, it's, this was, video's been out a month, and there's been no response at all, and, and granted, things haven't really blown up until this guy made a video about it, but now, I, I don't even know if I want to even talk about this anymore, because it's like, when does it end? You know, like, Mr. Beast, of all people, who has all his lawyers, who has all the money in the world, couldn't, like, get on top of this? He Like, I'm not sure I could believe that Mr. Beast wouldn't know about this. Like, do you not know, Mr. Beast? Like, you've supported Chris this whole time, and I'd be shocked if you didn't know this was going on. I mean, they're posting the meetups publicly on fucking Twitter. Like, you you have to have seen this, right? Or do you not pay attention to what they say? I don't know. Um, it's just disappointing. I mean, there's horrible things that are being sent to a minor, like Chris telling the minor that the easiest way to prevent the R word uh, is to consent. Like he, he's joking about doing sexual explicit acts with a minor. You like he's grooming him, right? Maybe I'm crazy. If this feels like grooming, I'm not here saying for a fact that Chris is a pedophile because there's not enough evidence for that, but it really, really, again, go watch the full video. It really feels like Chris has been grooming a minor and it's not okay. And why are content creators continuously, continuously being called out this year for this stuff? I shouldn't be able to make a video about this so frequently. My channel is about playing fucking video games. Like, I'm working on a new video game project. I'm still loving my old one. Like, I, I have other things to do. But if I, I don't call this bullshit out, then I feel like I'm not doing a service to you guys. Because we should not be you know, letting this go unanswered or unvoiced or, uh, you know, I don't want to leave this in the dark. Like, Chris, you literally just posted a video three days ago and, and you're posting fairly regularly, but you've never, like, even seen this. I don't know. It's got 23,000 views. Uh, now it's been about a day since this person's video blew up. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we're going to get a response from Mr. Beast or Chris, either one or both. Who knows? I hope that Mr. Beast um, is able to distance himself from Chris because I'd like to believe that Mr. Beast wouldn't know about it. But if he did have prior knowledge, then that makes this even worse because guess what? Mr. Beast's main audience is children. And I'm willing to bet that Chris's audience gets pulled from Mr. Beast's stuff. And I'm willing to bet that his audience is mostly children. Like, how can you be someone who entertains for the youth and do something like this? Is it because you're around kids too much? I mean, what what the heck is going on? 
uh, is it something that happens when you become popular or you become famous that you just suddenly become attracted to minors? What, like, what is this? I've never heard of this before. This is absolutely insane. I feel like I'm going crazy, guys. Like, like genuinely, I feel like like it doesn't make sense. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background. I'm just, oh my god. It, it, I'm actually frustrated at this because I cannot believe that someone would stoop to such lows as to go out of their way to be inappropriate with a minor and to do so publicly i mean jesus this is on fucking twitter like how do you how do you do this and the fact that there's a discord call where they're um uh where is it where they admit that they're minors so chris even knew they're a minor you can't chris you don't you dare come out and be like oh i didn't know they were a minor all right you're just like dr disrespect you fucking knew they were a minor and you kept doing the shit anyway this is not okay like it, it's wrong all right it's messed up it feels like you're grooming them i'm not saying you actually did anything sexual with them like in person but like what why why chris what is your fascination with a fan who won a contest at the age of 13 and you've kept maintaining your friendship as you've gotten older as well it's not like you stayed fucking 20 uh, like i i don't know what to do anymore <laughs> What do you guys think of all this? Like, I know you guys haven't really been commenting on these videos, but how how much longer are we going to let this shit slide? Why are so many content creators all of a sudden having trouble staying away from children? It's not that hard. It's really not. I mean, what, what the fuck? So yeah, I'm kind of just waiting for Mr. Beast or Chris to reply. Either one, we're going to do an update for that. But just overall, I'm just heartbroken that this kind of stuff keeps happening so yeah either way fuck you chris you're fucking trash how dare you talk to minors when i'm bet your ass that most of your audience is for fucking children i i bet that's the majority of people why because you're associated with mr beast and everyone looking you up is coming from mr beast i'm sure because guess what i didn't know who the fuck you were until mr beast put you on the map all right, you're nothing without him, and I hope Mr. Beast drops you, like, out of his channel entirely. I, I, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm fucking sick of pedophiles being able to, you know, just get away with this shit. And I personally feel like you're a pedophile. I'm not saying you are 100%. I'm not accusing you of the crime yet. We haven't seen enough evidence for that. But at the very least, you're grooming them. And talking about sending sexual photos to a minor is not okay and we should not be accepting of someone who does that personally i think just like all the other people before this shit's unforgivable like fuck off and and, and like leave, just disappear honestly tell you what chris you want you want to know the advice i give to everybody who gets caught with this shit just shut up and go away you know and be lucky that you're not being prosecuted because i can't believe this I, I just can't you know what tell you what I'm gonna I'm gonna take the risk of the, the copyright hit for a second just to to see look at this the comments agree I can always go to the comments and it will be fucking filled with people who agree look at this shit Chris is a creep never show up on YouTube again thank you if anyone's curious there's oh oh there's eleven thousand dislikes and four hundred thirty two likes on this this guy was at the kids choice awards he was fuck me really i hope that's not true i hope that's like someone just saying shit on the internet god damn like everybody who's commenting is commenting about the fact that he's probably a pedophile like the evidence is overwhelming the evidence is overwhelming go watch prism 42's video this is the original video on it go watch brion for more context and more opinions on this subject i don't want to play those videos because i want you guys to form your own opinions but seriously i it's it's too fucking obvious like hot damn and you know what i wonder i, I wonder right are people and he might be censoring his stuff they got your mans yep just an hour ago, someone's commenting about the fact that uh, they're going after uh, about what's going on with Chris. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, now, these might be more censored, but either way, we know that there's no censorship on Chris's channel because they're just... Uh, fuck. Yeah. I don't know. 
it, it's pretty obvious he's not going to get away with this shit, and I hope he doesn't. He better fucking not. So, <sighs> like, what happened, guys? Am I crazy? Wh what the hell is going on nowadays? I I don't know why it's so difficult to not speak to minors. Is it really that hard? I've made three videos on this now, and I'm I'm tired of it. Will I give you updated if something happens? Of course, because it's YouTube, and I'd like to, you know, get something out of the benefit of having to sit through watching people talk about how awful everybody is. And the comments is great, though. You know, don't, don't pretend we haven't heard about Lolly. You disgust me. Yeah. <sighs> Lolly's a code for pedophile stuff. Um, yeah. Ev oh, he deleted his Twitter. Fuck it. Why not? Let's go. We're going on a scavenger hunt, guys. We're going on a scavenger hunt. I don't know who the fuck these people are. Um, but when you don't follow anyone, pretty much... I don't know if this is the official one or not. No, his Twitter's deleted. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Um, yep, his Twitter got deleted. Definitely. <sighs> everyone's everyone's quoting the the song. I love that. I just realized I never cheer my monitor, but it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Like, come on, everybody knows it. Literally everybody fucking knows. This isn't like some bullshit allegations coming out of nowhere. That's how damning this video is. I mean, you can see the proof. He says he's 16. I don't know. And I just... The fact that like you would even dare hang out with a minor publicly. And... I don't know. I just am really worried about what happens behind closed doors. And Mr. Beast... Do what you can, man, but you better disc like cut cut the fucking line instantly. And I hope to God you didn't know shit about this, cause Mr. Beast, I don't give a fuck if you're the biggest YouTuber on the goddamn planet. If you're supporting someone like this, then you don't deserve your spot at the top. You just don't. You just don't. What good is your three hundred and five million subscribers if you're gonna support people who talk to minors? Come on. We can't have that shit be the top of YouTube. <sighs> like, PewDiePie has a fucking family, and he's living his best life, and he deserves to still be the top of YouTube, in my opinion. Am I biased? Yes. But beyond that, PewDiePie would call the shit out instantly. If you're really such a great content creator, who's such a great guy, who cares about your mostly child audience, then you better call this shit out. Seriously. And if you don't, then I'm expecting Chris to say something. Because if y'all both stay silent, I'm just fucking done. I'm so done with this. God, this is exhausting. Anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, I'm El Worfy. Sorry about all the negative videos lately, guys. Like, for real. Um, but just know I have a lot of gameplay already recorded, already planned out. It's just shit like this keeps popping up. And I, if I don't address it, I feel like I'm failing you guys. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to support me. And obviously watching videos is the best thing you can do. So thank you. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.